Hi, welcome to A&B Jukebox Repair, your one-stop source for road jukebox repair service and replacement parts. My name is Bruce Wentworth and I'll be your instructor today. Um, today's session is going to be on identifying a bad CD Pro player. And this is identifying a bad player in any type of jukebox you have. If you have a CD Pro player, then these same symptoms will, will, be, will carry over to your model jukebox also. I also want to let you know that A&B Jukebox Repair, we are in Plastow, New Hampshire. We've been servicing these players for the past 18 years, and we plan on servicing them for another 20 to 30 years. So if you have a bad player, or if you are unsure if you have a bad player, feel free to send your player in to us at A and B Jukebox Repair. We'll be happy to test out your player and let you know how it tested out. And if it tests as bad, we'll give you an honest evaluation. We take no joy in falsely charging somebody or giving anybody any false information concerning any parts that you send in. So we'd be happy to test any parts you have and be happy to uh, send them in to us. Okay, right now I'm going to show you, this is a Rose CD model jukebox. This is an MMCD1 jukebox. It's kind of a compact CD jukebox. And this has a pro player. And what we did is we took out the player and we just put it on a little, um, like a little support uh, piece of um unit here, a little padded unit so we can so you can see the player a little bit better. And this is a one that we've already serviced. It's a CD Pro player. And now I'm going to test it for you. So I'm going to show you how it tests. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the song. And what you're going to do is you're going to watch to see how it spins up. See it spin it right up. And now you're going to give it a couple seconds and then you should see the CDM comm light over here. While it's playing, you'll you see how it's spinning. It has a consistent spin. It's not stopping and starting. It's just a smooth, continuous spin, and it's sounding good. And it just continually plays. Okay, this is this is what you want to see when your CD Pro player is playing. You also want to look up here on the Mech Control. Okay, on this one here, you see the CDM Calm Light. It should flash about once every second. You see it flashing? That means it has good communication between the mechanism control computer and the player. Okay, so now I'm going to cancel. And now I'm going to show you three illustrations of bad CD Pro players and what, what, what the symptoms are and, what, and how to identify them. Okay, so we're going to take this one off and unplug it. Make sure the power's off. Whenever you unplug a player, make sure the power's off. And like we just did. So we're gonna put this over here, being a good player. And we're gonna take the first player now. This is a CD player we're gonna be servicing for one of our customers that I know tested bad. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what the symptoms are. Okay, we're gonna put the CD back on and we're gonna select the same track we just did. You see what it's doing? See it's stopping, spinning slow and stopping, spinning slow and stopping. It'll do that twice and then it will cancel the CD. So it will do that one more time and then it will cancel the selection. So that's a sign of a, that you have a bad CD Pro player, okay? Um, it's probably the laser on this one. Um, that's bad, but I'm just gonna put that aside now. We're gonna go to the next one. Okay. And this one's doing the same thing. Stopping, starting, stopping, starting. Okay. I'll try it for about five to ten seconds and then it should reject. That's a second player that's doing the same thing. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to try a third one. And always be careful plugging and unplugging of CD Pro Player. Make sure the power is totally off and make sure you know where the power connection is. That's the one with the black line on the side. See the black line right there? That's the black line. That's the power connection. That has to go into the front side of the player to the far right. Okay? And the other two go in the back. So we're going to try it one more time now. And we're going to, this is a third player now. This is an NSM type of pro. All, all the pro players are made by the same company, Philips. And this is a, again, this was an NSM style hub on this one. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, I made the selection. Okay, it took the selection up here. But as you see, we're getting a board error. A board error. Do you see that? That's telling us that we probably have a bad decoder board on the player. The decoder board is this board on the very bottom. This is the decoder board, okay? So that's that's what it's probably bad, but I, I won't know until I actually get into servicing it. So this player here, again, this player has no movement, no spinning of the, of the CD. Okay, those are the three examples that I wanted to show you. And again, um, it's been my pleasure being with you for this session, and we hope in the future that you'll join us again for future sessions on A and B Jukebox Repair. You can do it for your series. I want to thank you, and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.